how to validate an operation and request access to controlled airspace with NavDrone. First, ensure you have planned and saved your operation. Once saved, NavDrone will automatically validate your request. The validation button will indicate whether the operation is allowed, has warnings, if additional actions are required, or if the operation is prohibited. By tapping on the validation button, you can read information and warnings about the area where you plan to fly your drone. The rules that your operation complies with are shown in green. Disclaimers that the drone pilot or operator should keep in mind when conducting the operation are shown in blue. Warnings are shown in orange, and any rules the operation does not comply with are shown in red. Drone pilots and operators should review all the validation information provided by NavDrone. If necessary, the operation's flight zone and or parameters can be modified until you receive your desired validation result. Once your validation is complete, save and publish your operation. If your flight path intersects with a zone controlled by Nav Canada, NavDrone will use the information you submitted to generate a permission request, which you can send to Nav Canada. You will receive an email from Nav Canada with either an automatic approval or a notice that further coordination is required. If you need to submit a permission request, after your operation has been published, tap on the permission request to access its details. Complete the form and tap on the Submit button at the top right of the screen. To learn more, visit navcanada.ca slash navdrone. NavDrone is simplifying the authorization process and contributing to a safer Canadian airspace for all.